So you must be in control and in charge. It's a one-day investigative hearing organized by a joint committee of the House of Representatives. Appearing before them is the Minister of Works, Housing and Power, the Managing Director of the Rural Electrification Agency, some heads of federal universities and officials of non-governmental organizations. The committee is investigating the fast power program for accelerated gas production for power generation. The minister addresses this issue. It was an investment. We sought authorization. We got authorization. The site that needed budget, which was the switch yard to evacuate the power, we got appropriation from you. We implemented it in accordance with the BPP procurement. And all of the documents that showed the certificates of no objections are in the reports that have been filed before you. The lawmakers hold up a document from the Bureau of Public Procurement which contradicts the minister's position. The Bureau has gone through our records and wishes to inform the Honorable Committee that it does not have any information on item A, which is the fast power plant. But I have a letter signed by the same agency asking us to proceed. The spotlight turns to the official from the agency. We choose our words by saying that as far as the subject title is concerned, we don't have any information. So uh, there's no contradiction here. The Honorable Minister is right. We issue this certificate of no objection. The minister is then allowed to address the alleged fraudulent award of a 42 billion naira contract awarded under the Rural Electrification Scheme in some federal universities. That there is no contract award for 42 billion naira. There is no such award. So it is really a matter of whether you want us to continue, but let me say emphatically and very clearly, there is no fraud here. The lawmakers then seek to know if the project has been suspended in line with the House resolution. What I want to affirm from you is, first of all, have you obeyed the resolutions of the House? That is first before we proceed, because if you have not obeyed the resolutions of the House, then we don't even have any need of your appearance it means you don't have regards for the institution of the National Assembly. Mr. Chairman, as I said, I didn't see the document you uh, referred to, so um, to ask me to obey what I did not see or to answer whether I've obeyed what I did not see, really, uh, I don't know what you expect me to say. The lawmakers insist that they're interested in ensuring that the projects are carried out in line with relevant laws and as prudently as possible. They are expected to submit their findings to the House for consideration. Lanre Lassesi, Channels Television News.